What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Game for Daniel, aka Big D. Back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to use your DualSense controller on a PC with the haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers. Pretty much using the full feature of the controls on the PC. So, um, as you see right there, I already got a bunch of lights going on there and everything. But I'll show you guys how to do that and how to get it working like that on the PC. So, here we go. So, you want to make sure you get to this um, website with DS4 Windows version 2.1.19 and um, you want to make sure you get the 2.85 megabyte so once you click on that then you run it down here and then after that you go to um, dual sense support test click on that and then again you click it down there run it once you get all that going on um, you go to your uh, folders and right there's the DS4 you want to click on that and uh, make sure you extract all so uh, you hit extract all and then after that you go to um, different folder which is the dual sense support and go to testing again extract all then after that then you should get to a screen like this and make sure it says input zero and this is literally where you're gonna be able to control the whole controller through this and like I said our main thing we're looking at is the adaptive triggers which is the triggers back here that puts tension to it depending on what game you're playing, what guns you're holding. And you want to go to pulse extra one plus extra two and do the same for the right trigger. And then, um, yeah, and then you got all these other things up here that you can do which I haven't seen any of these work yet but um, I know you can change the brightness of the controller and um, so turn that up uh, the number of players so that guy right there that I'm doing that indicates how many players are playing. So like I have it at um, one right now. So there's one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like you're going to have a lot of players on this. Um, you can change the color. So like. Um, there's like a yellowish color. There's a uh, pink color. So yeah you can. You pretty much have control of it now. And, um, you can be able to play it on the PC just like this.